This is an Adobe Photoshop video tutorial on variations. Variations is a very basic way of making color corrections within Adobe Photoshop. These corrections are so basic, you should probably be using different software to make your color corrections rather than actually using Photoshop. Variations tool is more than 20 years old, so it's definitely seen its day. If I go up under Image, Adjustments, it will bring up this tool palette. In order to get this tool palette to actually show up within this active window so that you could see it, I needed to reduce the size of this image between takes. But beyond that, this main window, which otherwise takes up the entire full screen, is still difficult to see each and every one of these small variations of the image. But the basic intent is this. You have an original and a current pick. You then have more green, more yellow, more cyan, more red, more blue, more magenta. And all you have to do is click on the particular color to make this current pick the active window. And what you do is you go clicking between these different variants till you find the version of the image that you like the best. You can sit here clicking forever. It's a very rudimentary uh, way of making color corrections, but even for a basic user, I still don't care for it because it is, again, very difficult to see the different changes that are being made within the image. And any change that's being made is an overall change. Other options that we have up here are shadows, where it's making the change within the darks. Highlights, where it's making the change within the highlights. And then saturation, where it's giving less saturation and more saturation. Notice down here in the corner, what it did was it gave so much saturation that it distorted the color. And the real problem with this tool is you have absolutely no control whatsoever. We, you either accept it or you don't. And then lastly, uh, you have a lighter and a darker. Uh, so the, the, the concept of this might have been good 20 years ago, but by today's standards, it definitely falls short. Not that I'm trying to make this particular video a sales pitch, but if you were to use F On One Software's PhotoTune, it comes up with a very simple with people, without people in a pro mode. And if I just select without people, I can very quickly choose whether I want more contrast or less contrast. I select the image that I want. Do I like the auto color? Don't I like the auto color? It's fine. Brightness, do I want it brighter or do I not? Just pick one. And then do I want more sharpness or less? I can select that. And then summary, do I like it or don't I like it? If I do like it, I can very easily select apply. And then by using the undo command, I can see the color shift as well as the sharpness and contrast that it made on the image. If you do like this uh, software that I very briefly shown you, then you can go to links.theartofretouching.com slash phototune. You can use the coupon code capital T-A-R-S-1-5, which will give you a 15% discount off of the software. But again, I'm not here trying to pitch the software. I'm just saying that it works better than the Photoshop variations. And if you are interested, that's a way that you can get the software and get it at a discount. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please go to www.theartofretouching.com where you can pick up more tips and tricks about how to become a better Photoshop retoucher.